Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video I'll be showing you how to flash stock firmware onto your Xperia Z1. This works with both the C6902 and the C6903. Maybe you're stuck on a boot loop, maybe you want to downgrade your firmware to something that's rootable. In either case, you can follow this video. If you need to unroot your Z1, I've got a different video for that. I'll leave a link right below the like button in the description to unroot your Xperia Z1. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's get started. So guys, the first thing you do is head on link 1 from the download section in the description. That would take you to this page on XDA Developers Forums. So if you have an LTE enabled Xperia Z1, download one of these files. Uh, I mean, uh, whatever firmware that you want to wanna flash, download that. If you have a 3G version of the Xperia Z1, download one of these. That's the C6902. So just download them and link 2 will get you flash tool. So download these two files and save them onto your PC. So now I've right click on flash tool, run as administrator, install it. Hitting link 3 from the download section in the description will get you flash tool drivers. So again install this as well. So over here scroll down, make sure flash mode drivers and fast mode drivers is selected, hit install. So click next. So guys if you are in Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 this might fail, you might have a red X displayed here. If that's the case just slide over to the right, hit settings, change PC settings, over here select restart now. So now select troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings and hit restart. So once your PC boots back up, make sure you hit number 7, disable driver signature enforcement. And once you're back up, go ahead, reinstall flash tool drivers and you're good to go. So once you install the drivers, quickly open up file explorer, navigate to wherever it is that you've installed flash tool. That would possibly be a C drive slash flash, flash tool. So over here, the firmware that you downloaded from link 1, just copy it and paste it under firmwares. Alright, so I've already got that here. That would be the dot .534. If you have a 32-bit installation of Windows, click on Flash Tool. If it's 64, click Flash, Flash Tool 64. So guys, now you need to turn your Xperia Z1 off. Get the USB cable that's connected to the PC, hold down volume and plug it in. Uh, the flash tool would say device connected in flash mode. You can leave your Xperia Z1 as it is. Next up, click this icon. Make sure flash mode is selected. Hit OK. Over here you can select the firmware that you just added, the one I've added is C6902 dot ending dot So guys before you proceed with this, if your device is not in a boot loop and you're able to access it, make sure you back up all your apps and data because this will end up wiping your device. So now I've just clicked flash. This will take a few minutes to complete guys, I'll be back with you once it's done. Alright guys we are done, once you see ending flash session, these messages being displayed, just unplug the phone and uh, turn it on. Now since it's the first boot, it might take a little longer than your regular boot time. So give it about 5 minutes and your phone would boot back up. I'll be back with you guys once the Z1 is back up. Alright guys, we're up. So quickly running through these pages. Done. Going into settings, about phone, and there you see it, dot five three four. So I guess that pretty much wraps up this video on how to flash stock firmware onto your Sony Xperia Z1. So I hope this helped you guys who are trying to downgrade your phone or are stuck in a boot loop. So if you guys did find this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because I'll be coming out with a lot more videos pretty soon. So once again, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.